Welcome to Parker's online training. Today we'll be covering how to configure the Aries servo amplifier. First you'll need obviously the Aries amplifier. This will cover the AE of the AR options which are the analog input for velocity or torque modes. The E is the encoder version, the R is the resolver version. We also offer the S which is the step and direction input. Send the communications dongle 71-021609-01. That's a Y type cable that plugs into the Aries Drive I.O. connector and gives a 9 pin output. And then also a 26 pin on the other side of it so you can be connected to the controller while you're uh, talking to the Aries using the support tool software. You don't need that connected to the controller to configure the servo amplifier. Uh, also, you do not need the motor connected to the Aries to configure the Aries amplifier. You also need a serial cable. We offer one which is a 71-016939-10. That's a standard null modem crossover cable. Number four, uh, you'll need the PC with the Aries support tool software. That's a free download on our website www.parkermotion.com. On the top right hand corner click on supports and downloads and then download product software and you'll see that under Aries. Again that's the Aries support tool software. Uh, you can connect the serial cable to a 9 pin COM port on your PC. Many uh, newer laptops do not have a 9 pin COM port so if you're using a USB to serial adapter use uh, Cables Unlimited USB 2090. It's available on uh, Amazon.com that has the FTDI chipset in there and that driver uh, is compatible with both Windows 7 and XP and it works beautifully on all of our software packages. If you go ahead and launch the Aries support tool software, uh, it opens to the configuration wizard. So on the left hand side, first click test to test the communications to the Aries drive through the dongle and the crossover cable. Next go into the uh, configuration wizard under select the motor part number with the pull downs from the side of the motor on the label should show you what the motor part number is. Go ahead and change that with, with the series, frame, stack, winding, and feedback to map the motor it is. Go ahead and click next. Step two the edit motor parameters is skipped unless the checkbox is clicked in step one. Typically you only need to do this if the ambient temperature is different than 25 degrees C or if it's a custom motor. So we'll go ahead and skip this. Step three, the Parker ACR 9000 and 9600 and then the Legacy 6K controllers all use the Aries in torque mode. Go ahead and use the defaults here. You can also set this in velocity mode for non-Parker controllers. Go ahead and click next. Step four, uh, the fault output turns on by default when the drive is disabled. If you want that uh, turned off when the drive is disabled, you can uncheck the checkbox here. Uh, the output brake delay, you can go ahead and set this to the brakes release time. This will hold the relay open while the motor torque builds to hold the load in vertical applications. Click next. Last, uh, you can save the Aries configuration to a file on your computer. This is a uh, .ast file. It's a formatted text file. And secondly, uh, download the configuration to the Aries servo amplifier. So go ahead and click finish and it'll download. If it's successful, it'll, it'll tell you that and you can then power down. Remove communications dongle, install the Aries drive into the machine, and then connect the command cables and the motor and feedback cables and then you're good to go. That ends the training. Thanks and have a great day.